Welcome back, gamers, to episode number two of I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. I, I think I just nailed that. I think that's the actual full name of the game. When we left off in episode one, um, we just made it into class, some type of culinary school. Our teacher is a dog. Um, there are talking appliances. I don't really know what to think so far, but I, I'm coming down to my first huge decision. Do I sit beside Colonel Sanders or my best friend, Miriam? I think I gotta go with uh, Colonel Sanders, right? Because I mean, this guy apparently is the, the, the talk of the school. He knows his stuff. I could learn a lot. I could, I could cheat off of this guy. Okay, in class. I don't know how smart Miriam is when it comes to, to culinary stuff. So I'm sitting beside Colonel Sanders. That's my choice. Final answer. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. Oh, no, this might have been a bad decision. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring, Colonel Sanders. A little off topic if you ask me, but uh, okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. That is one evil pupper right there. That's a bad doggo. No, we have to really take it. I'm a terrible test taker. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you pop. I'm taking this serious. All right. I want to get I want to graduate and get out of this school That's right Forest is to tree as chicken is to so forest is to tree as So there's a tree in a forest So there would be a feather in a chicken That's right. Yes two for two Woo! What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Uh, spork. Easy. Easy! So, what? Maybe I'm in the wrong profession. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Three for three. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it is prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat, a pancake that, pancake that looks like a silly face. Now this one's tough, okay? Because the silly face in the pancake would make you laugh. Camel meat, I don't know if that's a real thing. Uh, I'm gonna say anything as long as it is prepared with love and not too much salt. The longest answer, what I learned in school, for any of the kids watching this, the longest answer is usually the right answer, okay? Just remember that. That's right, four for four. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's, ta he's a talking dog that teaches at culinary store, store, school. He is the best boy. That's right. Five for five. Did we get an A? A hundred? Your total score is five out of five. Woo! First day. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? You look up and see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you, you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met. But I have to confess, I think you have a beautiful brain. It. Hot diggity, positive gamer. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Maybe he'll give me that recipe for one of them biscuits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten in. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. 
A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Woo, yeah! But I... Shh! Let's, let's, let's! She said, shh! Jeez. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch today. Uh-huh. That must be the smell I smelled! The smelly smell! Indeed. That smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. But were the rumors true? Is this? <laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that Every student has pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? <laughs> nah, my dude. Nah. Ugh. I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him. I would be a terrible anime voice actor. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was like writing my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. The power of food. Am I right? You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing! I'm convinced this is a, this is a, a, a KFC ad. Uh, I'm sure others have already come to this conclusion, but as I said, I've not seen any gameplay from this. This is a, this is a KFC ad. I hope that I hope this. My wife didn't pay money for this. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another. Dimension. He put something in the chicken. Listen. Listen, I've had some good food, but it should not transport me to another dimension. Along with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. <laughs> Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim toward the light. I'm going to try to identify every flavor. I want this secret recipe. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt? Maybe? Pepper? Too obvious? Oregano? 
Maybe, but there's something else. I bet it's love. I bet it's love. Something dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 Yes, even deeper still until you find it. Could it be? Are you kidding me? So they're going to... We're getting trolled by KFC. I get it. He really did it. How bold. How adventurous to use... You try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet, now you know. A mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. I feel like we're about to beat the game. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you've traveled through space and time. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? Because listen, I just flew through time and space, swam through a black hole. Listen, I need, I, I, I need, uh, need to fess up. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. Oh, we're gonna blackmail him. <laughs> You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sandals. Sandals. I guess he's Colonel Sandals. Colonel Sandals looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. His goatee and mustache tickle your cheek. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Wow! You've ne- You'd have never guessed that! In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. And it definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. But you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. <laughs> He's a magician. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Am I about to flirt with Colonel Sanders? Neg him to show your own strength. What does it mean to neg someone? Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. He's going to take offense to that. I'm not doing that. Be modest but thoughtful. What does neg mean? Okay, listen. Uh, hear me out. Okay. I'm going to end it there. You guys tell me in the comment section. This is episode number two. I think that I'm about to flirt with Colonel Sanders. Um, do I neg him? I don't know what that means. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, recommend another ingredient into his special recipe, which I personally think he's going to take offense to. Or be modest but thoughtful. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think I should do. Wow. 
I still think that this is one big advertisement for KFC. Uh, but I'm not going to lie, I've been thoroughly surprised at what's been put into it so far. Um, I still don't know how I feel about it. I, I, I don't know. I, I know that there are games like this that exist. I, We'll continue on. There, there will be episode three. I'm, I, maybe I'm addicted. I don't know. Maybe I have a problem. Uh, I'm going to go grab some uh, chicken from KFC, and then uh, I'll see you guys for episode number three. So, uh, Positive Gamer, peace out.